School of Robotics today. I need a little help with my new drone. A Lego drone, to be precise. So we get this new model from China. Another micro drone. Except you get to build this one before you fly. Or at least that's how I thought. So let's see what actually happened. So we started building the model. Okay, maybe I was more like supervising than building. That means I left all for kids to figure out. What do I care if they put the drone wrong, if it explodes? It will make a more entertaining video, right? So I was aiming for that. But for my disappointment, the drone was built, props were put the correct way, motors were plugged to the right spot. Eh, smart kids today. The whole model seems like it might even have a chance to fly. A minor adjustment. And let's try it again. I guess it is a progress. To the proper drone explosion. It is clear now that the LEGO drone is more about building than flying. And it keeps kids busy. An hour has passed and an excitement to make the thing fly just started building up. Finally! No. Building the LEGO drone is a lot like building a real one. And the good thing is that the LEGO drone is made for crashing and learning from the mistakes the easy way. The worst that can happen, the model will fall into pieces and you will start the build all over again. I tried building the drone myself, flown it around and I was about to land it back into my palm when it slipped, fell on the floor and again broke into pieces. And then I realized and the second model came. The third, fourth, fifth. Opa! We have a launch! We have a launch! Oh! Move me! No! Okay, okay, one loose track, come on. <laughs> it is 3 o'clock in the night. I have been playing this game for solid two days now. And uh... Exactly, it's addictive as a terrible space program. Except this one is played in the real life. Thanks for watching. Product links in the video description below. As always, thumbs up, subscribe, and see you in the next one.